good. But you tried. Okay, let me try another one. Oh, there's another one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you say hello to the uh, camera. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's so wrong. <laughs> but you tried. I can't remember the last time yeah, I yeah. played. Speaking words of wisdom, I Hey, beautiful people. Okay, guys, how you doing? Welcome to another vlog. Today, I'm expecting my bed frame, so I'm excited. Like, I'm very excited. I, I got uh, the, the cabinet that's two weeks ago. It came, and I, and you guys already know that I got the bed sheets and the bed spread stuff so i'm so excited about that so i'm going to be like arranging the place the bed and oh uh -huh. i'm picturing in my head it's making sense making sense then i'm also reading this the crow prince i already started it though i already started it yesterday and i'm on page 222 but my friend and i <laughs> friends me Ore and kenny we read the flat share but kenny dnf'd it <laughs> it's too slow for her she's the thriller queen so romance is quite not a vibe but then i have to say this is my second book by this author and i hmm, hmm. anyway i'll talk about it in my my september wrap up oh my god my memory card is full story is about a girl um jude and tarin tarin and vivi and then there's modok and then there's cardon oh my god there's so many weird names but still guys this book is crazy because the synopsis of the book says that jude watched her father and her mother being murdered so in front of her their death you know and then she was taken to fairyland so that's why she has grown up and all that stuff so, the person who murdered her parents is Murdoch. I don't even know how to explain this. This book is crazy. It's the coronation, and what is happening is crazy. God, I don't know how to explain. I don't want to explain it to you guys, but oh my god, let me just continue reading. I have like 14 more minutes to my class, so let me continue reading. Inside this place, we are putting it inside this place. Just pack it now. Unless you are, unless you are no longer. Just wait. What happened to the bread? Was like, ah, okay. Oh, let's get back. Let's get back. You got to pack it. You go. Wait, the connection is bad. We don't see. I bought what? In the mud. Yes. Don't you buy? Guys, is is that because I was yapping in that? When you send guys to the market, they will buy exactly what you tell them to buy. They will. But I didn't tell him to buy this face and he bought it so now he's proud of himself that he thought about it without me telling him to buy <laughs> <laughs> uh, This is meant to special for me. Oh, the autobiography of a female saint. 
sleep. Martha Griffith. This one is better. Diana. Hmm? What's you using your diamond? Is it all your floss? But I did get on the bed. I don't know. I bought him. Between us now. How would I do that? From here to now, you just like lying against me, Jack. It's not. Here we go. Uh huh. <laughs> What happened? You push it inside the gender. You push it in. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure. It's longer. You measure it that day now. Ah! You know, there's no one who will bed you. Then what is now this one? Very strong, if you are late. Eh, but my one, no, far enough, like, you know, but you bet here. Ah! Guys, I have my bed now. I'm actually going to uh, put on the best print. All these are stuff that I removed from I want to fix stuff, so I still, I still don't know where I want to put this. Yes. They turned the bed upside down. Ta-da! <coughs> Baby! <laughs> You're a wicked person! Done. 
so I don't use the cotton uh, pillowcase because when I sleep, you know my natural hair now, so that's why it's brown for me and pray for him. He doesn't mind. I want to take a picture of this book. I finished it, so I don't know. I want it to look kind of cryptic, like I don't know, Sha. I have a lot of bead stuff, and I feel like it will fit the vibe. Oh, okay, nice. I'm starting this book with Bibliophile Nemo. I don't know her name, that's her Instagram name. So we are body reading this together today. And then I'll do my hair. I'll just tell Karima that it's funny how at such a young age you're already saying that a guy is the beginning and end for you like what the fuck I think I look better. <laughs> I look the same actually. I just finished this book, A Love of Convenience. Uh, I was body reading with Bibliophile Limo, Karima, yeah. So guys, I am just talking to her about what she thinks about the book and we are not sympathetical. <laughs> God, okay, I'm going to explain to you, but right now I'm still trying to understand what she's trying to say. Mm. Yes, thank you she did. This is true. Okay, so mm, guys, let me tell you about it because to be honest, from my own point of view, this story is actually really nice. So I think I'm going to give it a four stars. Very, very nice story, although it's cheating trope and Karima does not love cheating trope. And this is my first time reading cheating trope. And from the looks of things, I feel like the guy never really loved his girlfriend in the first place. Like it was just thing with her just because of obligation and the fact that he doesn't want to be like his father and so many things so i am torn right now i am so torn because i actually enjoyed the story it was there was also cancer in the book there was also oh there were songs in the book i don't even know what i don't even know i didn't even tell you guys what the synopsis is so let me just read it back to you so i don't spoil it more than i am already i am very oh, good Ezioma is finally marrying dilly the man she has loved almost all her life oh god that was horrible let me try again Ezioma is finally marrying Dilly the man she has loved almost all her life except it's not a real marriage but one arranged for him to get a green card it all seems straightforward except for the fact that Ezioma is still head over heels in love with him while his heart is with his fiance back home in Nigeria it's a recipe for disaster or is it so you can already imagine what's gonna happen in this book right but seriously you guys the book was really good i enjoyed reading it then funniest thing karima is not telling me that she's not telling me that <laughs> she's not telling me that this is the book she enjoys the least from this particular author so meaning that if karima doesn't like this and i like it that means the other books by this author would definitely give me a very very good thrill because to be honest i am looking at this and i'm thinking four stars because the story is actually really really good i cried a little because you know the cancer part and i recently lost my uncle to cancer so it was quite sad getting a glimpse of what he must have gone through and it was painful to be quite honest but that aside i'm still chatting with karima i'm going to tell you guys what happened but right now after we finish chatting i need to cook i'm hungry AF very very hungry so I'm going to make noodles for baby and I and I also think I'm going to drink coffee although I don't even know then I also want to take a walk I don't know shall but I'm, I'm going to let me call her let me call her let me see if she would even at least pick my call because I don't like when people just all of a sudden call without any reason she's not online she just left on her I'm waiting Oh, wait. 
Oh, okay, she's back online. She might say no because she's not a vo voice note person. I've been sending voice notes since we started reading, but she has been texting and sending stickers and texting. I don't know. I, that's so exhausting. I talk a lot. <laughs> okay, she said voice call will work, so let's call her. <sighs> Nigerian books are just so stressful in this life. Four stars. Do you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm generous because, to be quite honest, I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the way she portrayed, even though it's a wrong kind of love, but it was still, it was still portrayed well. Come up, bro. Yeah, she was actually stupid. She sent him away. I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> 